Hello, Johnny London here once again. Well, where does the time go? That is the question, isn't it? I've been here in Cow Roast for a couple of weeks now, so it is of course time for me to move <laughs> and the wind's picking up just in time. I'm heading towards Burke Hampstead, no particular agenda today, so we'll just go a little way and as usual, we'll see what happens. Wind aside, for me, today, it should be a pretty straightforward cruise. From Cow Roast to North Church, or thereabouts. Well, the sun's about, but it's not that warm. Extra layer and all that. That was not the most picturesque stop I've ever been at, but uh, the car was very, very handy. That makes a change. Time to do the first lock. Don't know how many we're doing today. A couple at least, two or three probably, who knows. I've got my windlass that I don't like, must have picked it up by mistake. It's too long. But it's doing the job. I've just got to fill the lock as it's set against me. I make my way across the gates to reach the other paddles. Just uh, bow hauling it through on this occasion just seemed a bit easier than getting back down there. And it's a nice little set of steps for me to reboard with, so uh, why not? These locks would have been quick for the working boats back in the day. But for me, not so much. Well, the observant amongst you might have uh, spotted that I've left a gate paddle open on, on uh, the other side there. And the reason for that is because there's a sign at the top that says to leave one of the paddles open. All to do with water management. So uh, that's what I've done. And it was quite convenient as well. Well, it was just a matter of yards around the corner to the next lock. So uh, this one's set in my favour actually, so it should be quite good. Uh, set in my favour, and it's a nice new gate as well, but it's a little bit stiff. Soon enough, I'm through. What was handy, I just came down through those steps there. And uh, time to make a getaway, I think, now that bloke started his uh, digger. I don't like that, it affects the old tinnitus. Good to leave that racket behind. remember this bit quite well actually it's uh, quite a picturesque stretch with quite a nice clean edge bit of bank but for me it's a little bit too near the trains usually for most other people as well 
Um, there's a few boats moored just here, but the track really converges uh, around the next bend here, really converges onto the canal, and uh, I don't think we'll see anybody moored on that bit. As I thought, there's no one here. Well, the day's taken an unexpected turn for the better. Uh, a fan of my channel has just stopped me, giving me a packet of coconut rings. So I know what I'll be having at uh, four o'clock this, this afternoon. And they're setting the lock for me while I speak. So uh, this one, at least, will be a nice easy lock for me. Well, it's certainly nice to get a hand. All I've got to do is just uh, keep the boat in position on the centre line and uh, enjoy the ride. Well, I'm certainly getting all the help that I need today. Someone's just been along to tell me that there's a tree uh, blocking the canal a bit further down at the moment. CRT are usually pretty good. I'm sure they'll have that shifted quite quickly. Um, they reckon you can still get around it anyway. So I'll do this lock and then I'll well, just see what happens. And in no time, it's another lock under my belt. I can start thinking about mooring soon. Here we go. There's a nice sunny spot here, but I think that's going to be just a bit too shallow. I'll press on a bit further. Well, I really wanted to stop this side of uh, Burke Hampstead, Burko as people call it. Um, but it's either too shallow or totally in the shade. This chap here just very kindly offered to move back to make space for me because there is sort of like a 50 foot space behind him. But he's actually moored on the landing stage. So if he goes off of that, then it means I'll be on it. And I, I don't want to moor on the landing stage. So, you know, I just don't want to do it. So despite the fact there's a fallen tree waiting for me ahead and despite the fact I know I'm probably not going to be able to stop anywhere in Burke Hampstead with any amount of sun at all um, I just sort of carry on and uh, well, we'll see what happens something will work itself out I'm sure oh dear what have we here and here this one's locked up So's this. And this one. That only leaves this one. It's going to be a slow job. Well, today certainly is a mixed bag. It was lovely to get a hello, some help, and a pack of free biscuits at the last lock. Uh, but since then, <laughs> business as usual, I've been struggling, uh, grounded out trying to moor in a reasonably sunny spot. I uh, found a lovely sunny spot right before the landing stage uh, with about a 50 foot boat length which obviously I can't fit into and now this lock, there's three of the four paddles are locked up it's uh, quite slow going and uh, I've got a feeling, well I don't know where I'm going to stop now but um, I remember it being quite shady uh, in Burke Hampstead so uh, we'll have to see what we see The leaky gates help to fill a bit. And in the meantime, I get to watch the local wildlife. There we go. But it's a heavy old gate. Slowly does it. Well, 
Well, that's the heaviest gate I've done in some time. Well, that has taken an absolute age, firstly, to wait for the lock to fill on one paddle out of four. By the time it got near the end, it was just creeping millimetre by millimetre. And then, of course, the gate was nearly impossible to open. But uh, onwards and upwards, or downwards, actually, because we are locking down. I bring the boat into the lock. Do you know what? It really is one of those days today. The gate I couldn't get open, uh, obviously I struggled to get open. And the other one, I never touched it, honest gov. But it opened all by itself. I've done half a paddle already, so when I shut it, it definitely won't open again. There she goes. No problem draining. And out I go. Glad to see the back of that one. It's been a bit of an unusual cruise today. Uh, lots of tricky locks, lots of helpful people. Free biscuits, did I mention that? And uh, probably end up going a bit further than I really wanted to. I would like to spend a bit of time having a look around Burke Hampstead, uh, but they uh, don't seem to have much in the way of moorings, unfortunately. Not the sort I like, anyway. Quite industrial around here. This will do. All good things come to those who wait. I found a pretty good spot, nice bit of straight edge bank, pretty good light all round really, not complaining. And crucially, it's just before the fallen tree as well. So that was a stroke of luck, wasn't it? Only thing is it's a little bit shallow and the boat is just grounded out, hence why it's not drifting off before I've even pinned it or anything. But, you know, I'm around so I can keep my eye on it and uh, we'll just have to see how we get on. Fingers crossed. I'm just before the fallen tree and I don't think it would have been that much of a problem. See you next time.